Hello Game Makers, this is Game Maker Rob. Welcome to part 6 of our Multiple Heroes and Monsters tutorial. Uh, let's just get started. So if you remember from the last video, we completed Heal and Hurt, but uh, we still need to do Stun and Sleep. Uh, should be pretty simple. If we go into the step event of OBJ Battle Spawner, when we create the heroes and the monsters, we're going to give them two more variables. We're going to say hero dot stunned equals zero, and this is how many turns the hero is stunned for. Hero dot is asleep equals false. Uh, is the hero asleep or not? And we're going to do the same for the monster group. Monster group dot stunned equals zero. Monster group dot is asleep equals false. Although this is going to affect all the monsters in the group, so uh, don't ask me to explain why it affects every monster in the monster group, it just does. It's a little buff for the heroes, and one less layer of complexity for you and me. Okay, so now we've got those variables set up, we can go to... Uh, where are we? So. If magic state is not equal to choose target, uh, so this is heal, this is, sorry, this is heal, and this is stun. So now we want to say if I'll just type it, I think it'll be easier. If DS magic selected spell equals 8, which is stun. Let's just type that. Then we'll say chance to stun equals uh, equals 50. Uh, roll equals I random 99. If chance to stun is less than roll then option target dot uh, stunned equals 3 and for sleep if ds magic selected spell equals 9 chance to sleep equals let's say 25 because this is going to be more powerful roll equals i random 99 if chance to sleep is less than roll option target dot is asleep equals true okie doke and then what's the error oh I forgot to do a bracket and this one as well no that's wrong Ah, oh, it's the wrong way around. Wow, dude. So we're going to OBJ Monster Group and the draw event. We're just going to draw some text to say whether they are, they are actually stunned or asleep. Uh, we'll say... Um, if 
stunned is greater than zero. Draw text. Uh, we want um, x plus sprite, sorry, brackets, sprite width divided by two. Uh, y will do, and then stunned. And uh, we'll say if stunned is greater than zero and is asleep then draw text x plus bright width 5 by 2 uh, y minus 16 and I'll type asleep we also need to uh, set the h-align draw set h-align fa center and then if stunned equals zero and is asleep just copy these chords and change stunned to asleep. Um, it's not a very eloquent method of displaying the status uh, updates but um, it's a lot faster than creating like a DS list. My first solution was going to be to draw a DS list and to add the statuses to them. Um, if you're going to make a proper game that's what I would do. But anyway let us go on to the next one please. So uh, now we have done that, let us run the game to test it, as usual. So, he doesn't know sleep or stun, neither does this guy. This guy, you no know sleep, didn't work. Stun? No. Let's try again, attack, attack, magic, sleep. Cool, stun? Yay. Okay. So it works. The, the position's a bit too high, but it works as intended, so that's, that's good enough for now. Okay, so now that we know the statuses are actually being updated, uh, we need to, first of all, make sure that the monster cannot have a turn if they're stunned or asleep, but also give them a chance to wake up and reduce the, the, the time they're stunned by one. So... Go back into OBJ Battle Spawner. And you want to go all the way down to the monster turn, which is... I've minimised it for now, so here we are. If not play a turn, action equals in it. So, what we're going to do, we're going to leave the action timer. And... What we're going to say is if... Oh, sorry. What we need to do is after this bit, we're gonna grab grab the monster first. Let's put it in. So uh, grab the monster. Uh, grab which ever monster. I can't even think what to put. Uh, Grab the monster whose turn it is. That'll do. And then we want to say, uh, check if they're stunned asleep. If active monster uh, dot stunned is greater than zero. Then we'll give him. Oh no, sorry, we count it down. So active monster dot stunned 
minus minus uh, if active let's do this on one line sorry actually just make it a bit a bit tidier if active monster dot is asleep we need uh, we do need a bit more for this one uh, roll equals I random ninety nine chance to wake equals say fifty. Is that too high? Uh, let's say thirty three. If chance to wake is less than roll, then active monster is asleep equals false so now we've if I've done wrong oh brackets ah, I keep messing up with brackets I'm going senile in my old age right so now we've checked uh, whether they're going to be still st stunned or asleep and they can only attack if they're not stunned or asleep uh, if stunned Sorry, if active monster dot stunned is less than or equal to zero and active monster dot is asleep equals false, then we can do this. And then we want to reset the attack timer. Uh, as you've probably gathered we're not actually doing any damage or anything in the monster's turn um, all we need to do really is what are we in the bit that we attack then we just check whether the monsters are going to hit the, the hero and if so then remove uh, hit points from the hero uh, we'll do that towards the end I think we don't need to do that right now so now that we've completed the stun and asleep part, let's just test it, make sure it works. So attack, attack, sleep, uh, stun. Attack, attack, sleep. So he's asleep now. And we'll try stun on, cool, on the mage. So the goblin attacks and now it's our turn because both the mage and the eye can't do anything they are completely under our control <laughs> all right so let us continue with our coding okay so next on our list is the item action and in the inventory arrays or array sorry uh, Normally I'd have everything set to an integer and then have an item array that um, the corresponding integer from the inventory uh, references. Uh, that would mean I have to make another array for the, for the items though and I really don't want to make these videos any longer than they already, already are. So for the sake of brevity, I'm just going to uh, change these two strings. And in fact, I'll, I'll cut ahead to when I've changed the strings, just so you don't have to watch this. Okay, so all I've done is I've given each of the players, each of the heroes, um, an herb or herb, and uh, the rest of these slots are empty. And once you use the herb, uh, it's just going to disappear. We're going to set it to a blank string. Um, and it's going to be a bit similar to the magic menu, so it's just going to display whatever is in the inventory. So next we shall display the items. If we go into the step event of OBJ Battle Spawner, uh, scroll down to where we're saying menu selected equals 2, option state equals item. Uh, we're going to say if option state is not equal to item and 
auction state is not equal to choose target I'm going to try and avoid making new variables so we're going to, we're going to be using options option uh, state for the item uh, option which is probably what I intended to begin with but there you go so oh So if option state is not equal to item and it's not equal to choose target, then we want it to change to item. Else, what's the error? Uh, missing the bracket. <laughs> okay, so we've now selected item. If we selected item, uh, so if option state equals item, then uh, we want option state to become choose target. So when we press it for the first time, press space for the first time, we're going to display the items and that's going to be the state. And then if we press it again, we're going to be choosing the target. Uh, Okay, and then we want to say inside here, no, not inside here, this is it if we're pressing space. So we're going to leave it there for now, we're just going to display the items so we know where we're up to. So we're going to the draw event, say if option state equals main for var item equals zero item is less than three being lazy there item plus plus Um, if g g a inv player indicator item equals this, then item name equals empty. Else item name equals GA just copy this really Gaga so now we have item name Want to display it we're going to copy these coordinates because we want it to be drawn in the same place as the magic menu change spells to item and spell name to item name uh, and let's just check this is working oh why main should be item if option state equals item so displaying items doesn't do much but at least this part works okay so while we are still inside the draw event we're gonna display the arrow so if we just copy this code from the magic part of the draw event and paste it here And we're going to change spells to item and selected spell to selected item, which we're going to have to now create. So go to the step event of battle spawner. Uh, 
and scroll down until we find this bit if option state equals magic after here we want to put item I'm going to say if option state equals item uh, total items equals three copy this paste it this is a, a perfect opportunity to create a script because it's just the same code really uh, and then wherever it says selected spell when I say selected item we could even have just left the draw event to say selected spell but it could be confusing in a few months time when you're going back to it it's like well it's not a spell so this is why we're changing it uh, total items there so cool so if you run the game now we should be able to see the arrow and move it between the different options uh, not set before reading it So go to the initialization part and oh no actually not there uh, when we set option state to item we're going to set uh, selected item to zero that's the best place for it Hi. This is the pitfall of copy paste because I missed I missed this bit. Uh total item should be two as well. No three. Let's just check this. So total items equals three. If selected item equals zero, then selected item equals total items else minus minus. So it should be two because it's either going to be zero, one or two. Uh, if keyboard check pressed VK down, if selected like item equals total item, which is two, then it goes back up to zero. That sounds like it should work. Let's test it again. Awesome. Okay, so now we have we are displaying our items and are able to scroll up and down. Um, we've already coded. If we press spacebar, it goes into choose target. Let's have a look. And uh, by the way, there's there's a little type of mistake. This took me about 10 minutes to find. Uh, if menu selected equals 2, if option state is not equal to item and option state is not equal to choose target, I put an extra bracket. Hopefully you, uh, you caught that one. So, we want to now choose target and if we just scroll down a bit, we're going to use this code the same code we're using for the attack and for choosing a target with magic so we can say or option state equals choose target we need to assign a target we need to modify this code as well We only want to be able to change, or sorry, choose a target if there is a herb. So we're going to say if ga inv player indicator uh, selected item 
is not equal to empty. with obj hero <laughs> if image index is equal to other dot player indicator or that dot option target equals id and other dot selected actor equals uh, other dot player indicator and then break okay so let's just put some notes um, if the item slot is not empty basically a herb or an herb then um, current hero will be the first guy selected and then if that uh, item slot is empty you might want to say else audio uh, play sound and an S and D uh, no item like that but in my game there are no sound sounds so it's not necessary okay let's just check this now so we're showing the items we're pressing space if there's a herb we're setting the target and the selected actor and setting the option state to choose target one minute what else do we need to do so now we need to we need to say else if option state equals choose target use item uh, we're going to copy uh, this code things should all we need no we need, we need more than that uh, we need this code So use item so grab the next hero uh, damage is going to be minus 1 to minus 10 add the hit points to our target show the attack animation and reset the menu awesome uh, the only other thing we need to do is go into the draw event and if option state equals attack or magic state equals choose target or option state equals choose target so let's run the game hopefully there's no bugs item herb Awesome, and Rob has gained 10 hit points, so it's working as intended. Let's see if, uh, let's give it to Rob as well. He only got two that time. Uh, can't use empty. Try again. Let's do attack, attack. Let the monsters have their go. And then Rob still has an herb. Oh, we forgot to take it out. Okay. Um, so, all we need to do is step event. When we press inside choose target, before 
we increase the player indicator, we want to say GA inv uh, player indicator and then selected item equals this. Let's just test it one more time. Just going to quickly cycle through the attack event and hopefully Rob no longer has an herb. No, he doesn't, so he can't use anything. Cool. Okay, so next on our list will be uh, menu selected equals three for defense. Um, we're not going to need this bit because we're just going to uh, have a variable. We're going to say with obj hero if image index is equal to other dot player indicator then uh, is defending equals true and then we can break and then we just want to run the let's copy this code Hero to command, so get the next hero. Don't need this line. We're not damaging anyone. And that's it. Um, is defending uh, when the monsters attack. If this is true, then the damage to the hero is going to be halved. So let's just uh, set all of the uh, variables to false for now. Uh, so when we create the heroes, where are we? Here. Hero dot is defending equals false. Is the hero defending or not? Half damage received from monster attacks. Okay. And we need to reset this variable for all of the heroes every time it's the player's turn because it's only going to last for one turn. So if player turn with obj hero, I'm going to say is defending equals false. Reset defending value. So this buff alright we're not really going to be able to test it too easily um, I want to complete the rest of the um, options which we run I'm going to leave it here for today and I will catch you next time bye for now <laughs>